What's going on everybody? Welcome to your 39th Python tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be going over a little more about modules. Hopefully you can uh, clear some stuff up for you. So in the last tutorial I showed you guys how to import a module using import and then the module name such as uh, actually this one was swine flu I believe. That was a file name minus the py extension and that's how you imported the module. And I showed you guys how to access functions from the module by using the module name and then the function name which was test mod and that is how you can um, access these functions inside this entire module but I want to show you guys another um, couple handy tricks um, aside from accessing them this way with the module name and then the function name another easier thing that you might want to do is assign it to a local variable and this is going to save you a bunch of typing so instead of swine flu dot test mod with empty parameters you can just put baby or name it or whatever you want swine flu dot test mod without the parameters and then go ahead and now baby is equal to swine flu dot test mod so whenever you want to use this um, function inside this module what you would have to do is just put your variable name and empty parameters and then it would automatically call that function from the module so that's a handy little trick where you can access um, functions inside your module just using a single variable and another thing that I told you guys is right now we have that function saying this baby is fat and I showed you guys whenever you edit this this baby is happy and you go ahead and save it then you can't just um, call it again or it says this baby is fat again but what happens if you import the entire thing again swine flu and then go ahead and use that module swine flu dot test mod it still doesn't work and I told you guys this because I want to stress the point you can only import a module once per program but when I told you guys that you can't do this without exiting idle and coming into it again and importing it again, I lied. There's a little trick that you can do where if your source file right here is edited, what you just, just did, we changed it to happy, you can use the new version with something called reload in your program. And this is probably the second easiest thing you're ever going to learn. Um, this is reload and then inside the parameters put the name of the module so swine flu just like that and now you just reloaded that entire thing and this is the updated version so instead of putting import again if you edit your version you have to put reload and this is once your module is imported and then you change your source file you have to put reload and then this will give you the new module so now if we use swine flu uh, what's it called test mod as you can see it says this baby is happy and of course you can do your local variable trick to assign it to what it was before but again if you just try to import it import your new one it won't import again this is so to help you protect importing the same thing over another thing that was already imported so again if you want to get the new updated version what you have to do is use the built-in reload function so that is how you uh well it's just some nifty little tricks and also how you um reload a module source file after you edited it so um i hope you guys learned a little something more about modules um if you didn't i'll be clearing this up and i promise you'll understand uh much more in the next couple of tutorials but if you have any questions you can just leave me a comment or send me a message and i'll try to answer so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all my latest videos uh, again, thank you, and I'll see you next time.